A cold snap is taking over China for the Lunar New Year, but people's leading source of warmth during this time has become a fancy commodity. The New York Times reported that Beijing has already foreseen the natural gas shortage. On January 13th, Lian Wei Liang, vice chairman of the National Development and Reform Commission, said some localities and enterprises have not implemented measures to ensure the supply and price of energy for people's livelihoods. His speech implored that local governments must guarantee household gas supplies, but omitted whether Beijing would aid them financially to make that happen. The Times noted that local authorities are still feeling the financial blow from the zero COVID strategy and slumped land sales. Thus, affording natural gas has become a difficult task for them. Yan Qin, a China energy specialist at Refinitiv, said, "If they would be able to subsidize, we would not have this shortage." That's why officials are resorting to rationing, which the publication says was marginal enough for cooking but not heating. Resident Li from Hubei Province said, "We dare not turn on the heat overnight. After using it for five or six hours, the gas stops again. The gas shortage is really affecting our lives. It has been a challenging spring for many Chinese. In China's far north, Heilongjiang Province has been experiencing record cold on New Year's Eve." And Mohua City saw three consecutive days with lows below minus 50 degrees Celsius. Regulations are another factor that prevents households from accessing natural gas. China has increased imports of Russian gas during the Ukraine war. However, distributors tend to reserve them for industrial and commercial buyers rather than households. This is because Russian supplies come at higher prices, and regulators strictly monitor the pricing for gas being sold to residents. Jenny Jung, a natural gas expert at Hong Kong-based Lan Tao Group, told the Times that this spring wholesale gas prices have multiplied threefold the amount distributors are permitted to charge residential consumers. Coal could have been a cheaper means of heat for Hubei residents. However, due to environmental implications, Beijing has spent the past five years urging them to switch to gas use. As a result, coal or coal-burning stoves have been scarce in the province.